Hello, race fans. Welcome back to the NASCAR Verners Cup Series. Last time out was California in a thrilling race. Saw Denzel Washington go to victory lane. But this week, as you can see, we're at a completely different track. Look at that pretty green grass. This is what happens when you come to Sonoma in the spring. This is the Bolt House Farms 355. It's a shortened pace lap today. Due to the fact that it's a road course. So, starting on pole, we got two Dodges right here at the front of the pack. It's Donald Fagan and Brendan Gone. Should be very interesting. Then Bob Ross is going to line up next to Alfred Hitchcock. There's Richard Simmons. He's alongside Bela Fleck, Kathy Bates, and Cast of the Friendly Ghost. Your points leader is Hutt Strickland, and starts he starts 10th alongside Morgan Freeman. And Tally Savalas and Tom Jones, Marco Polo, and Chick Correa makes yet another race. Harrison Ford and Jerry Springer teammates. Tom Hanks and Stephen George rounding out the top 20 should be Woody Woodpecker and Peter Perfect. Rover Cleveland finally qualified for a race this season. Took him four times. I believe he won at a road course in the Melling Series last year. He's starting alongside Joe Biden. Al Roker and James Bond in the next row. Then it's Blaze Alexander and Rick Scott. Getty Lee will line up next to John Cena. And last week's winner, Denzel Washington, lines up next to Iggy Koopa. Carl Edwards back in the field this week. We'll be lining up next to Snoop Dogg. Then Billy Mays will start next to last year's winner, Burt Reynolds. Did not do well in qualifying. Woody Harrelson will line up next to Walter White. Hank Hill is going to start to the outside of Crow T. Robot. Then David Dayton will line up. He's actually in his MSU scheme next to Count Dracula. Starting shotgun on the field. Al Capone, Jeff Lynn. Interestingly enough, Lynn, a road course winner. Last time the series was out in a road course, Tip Foster won. He didn't even attempt this race. Only one part time entry attempted. That was Taryn Edgerton, who failed to qualify. Also failing to qualify, Ian Anderson and Brian Wilson. Wilson has won that second race of the year at Phoenix and took the points lead then, but has failed to qualify for both races since. It's going to be interesting. Teams trying to jockey their way into the good spot in points. Heading into the final race of the West Coast Swing, which is at Texas World. Because after Texas World, the points reset. Which means that this year's owner's points will start will be used to lock drivers in instead of last year's. Another team that didn't show up, they're expecting uh Brian May of Queen Fame. A Queen-centric team that was believed to also have Roger Taylor and John Deacon on the crew. They That did not come to fruition. 45 entries, 3 went, went away with no spot in the field. But the remaining 42 are going to duke it out for 28 laps to see who wins. But before that, we got to get the command. The most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. Barely any enthusiasm into that command. 
Engines are fired. The pace car doesn't even go down pit road here. There's where the old Gilligan's Island was. Instead, the pace car is just going to park at the end of that. Actually go behind a wall. Oh, we hit the wall. Green flag is out. And we're racing. Already an accident. That accident being the pace car. Looks like Brendan gone, poking his head out early. I don't know why. Don't know why that was enabled, but Brendan gone is actually going to take the lead away from Donald Fagan. Now, this isn't the strangest thing in the world. Gone's first win in the what is now the Melling series came at Road America in 2014. And is is so far only win in the Verner's Cup series came last year at Pocono, a track that is an oval but it drives like a road course. Dodge one, two, three at the front of the pack. Three different organizations, believe it or not. Brendan Gone for Logan Cloud Motorsports. Running ahead of Donald Fagan for Nether Never Pork Motorsports and Pity Enterprises Alfred Hitchcock. Ford, Chevy, Toyota, Ford, Ford, Toyota, and Pontiac, Chevy before your next Dodge. So as they run on track, it's Dodge, Ford, Chevy, Toyota, Pontiac, Renault is how the manufacturers are shaping up today. Hey, there are three Toyotas in the field. Fastest lap of the race so far is that fourth place, Bob Ross. Ooh. Oh! That is a damaged race car. Oh! Contact was made and Jeff between Jeff Flynn and Hank Hill. Wow. Carl Edwards has won here before. It's surprising to see him this far back. And there's a fight going on in the broadcast booth between two cats. Yours truly just had to break that up real quick. This is very much a cat and mouse game. Going into this turn is your best option. Ooh, Al Roker's run wide. He already lost a spot this lap. Will he lose another? Snoop Dogg trying to hold off Getty Lee.
Still at the front is Brendan Gone, who ran a sub 122. Which is crazy that they're not. They're that slow, really. I'm used to them going like, what, 116 or something? Oh, Bela Fleck walked it wide. We're taking to this wide lens. Look at that. Just look at that. This has never happened when we came here in summer. Oh, there's the carousel. That's another good sight. You can see the whole field right there. Iggy Koopa trying to get around Cena Cena. That looks like the big problem is a lot of people somehow they can hang on on the high side. And hang on, but it's not impossible to pass. It's just unlikely. As Snoop Dogg did not get a good run through that corner, you see Getty Lee take advantage of it. Now Carl is here. Carl trying to crack 31st place. Now Jeff Lynn's gotten around Dave Dayton. Dave Dayton now in last. Interesting. Top three in inverse row order just ran the three fastest laps of the race. This time it's different. The order is in order of how they run on track. So Bob Ross just ran the fourth fastest lap of the race. So he is trying to chase down this Alfred Hitchcock. See, Rick Scott was back here. Scott is in a very rough year after winning his duel. He hasn't finished higher than 40th, I believe, in a single race. I believe 40th and 240 seconds. That's all he's been able to muster this year. Marco Polo moves in the 12th position. It's Tom Hanks hounds Jerry Springer for 16th. Battle for 33rd. It looks like Woody Harrelson will clear Crow T. Robot. Maybe not quite. As Dracula has gotten around Hank Hill. Donald Fagan. He had this race won, it looked like, in the early stages two years ago until he got spun by the pace car. I believe the ensuing point swing cost him the championship. That was in 20, 2018, and Leonard McCoy was last in points at the time went on to win the race. McCoy, of course... Has moved down to the Melling series. Oh, a couple cars look like they're gonna walk it a little wide. Oh, here's a battle for 21st. Bond in Grover Cleveland. It looks like Cleveland will hold on to that position, but here comes James Bond once again. Power run through the S's for the seven. I heard. 
clears. No, not quite. And has the preferred line going into the hairpin, but Grover Cleveland trying to outbreak him. Now Bond side by side. Now Cleveland gets the run of the century off the corner for whatever reason. That just doesn't make much sense. Rick Scott has climbed up a few spots. Wow, that's really trippy as you view up. That S is not the first, that's the real, this is the real S is here. See Brendan gone leading after only eight laps. For over a quarter of the way through this race, thankfully. But it can't go by quick enough. Points leader Hutt Strickland. He's running in the ninth position. Kills Bros with the decaffeinated scheme. Noted by the green coloring on that machine. slalom through the asses. Look at that slalom. As you can see, they remain single file. That's how road course races tend to be. And it doesn't look like there's a single pass. Oh, wow. Brendan Gone continues the lead. He's led every lap so far. Gone, I think he's pretty safely inside the top 35. Wonders, I'm pretty sure Hot Strickland is going to lock himself in. Well, with the run he's having this season, he doesn't have to worry. Well, well, he has had to worry about it, actually. Hot Strickland is not been able to rely on owner's points at all this year. He's had to qualify that 90 in every race this year on speed or through the duels. And he's been up to the task. And barring some horrible luck here or horrible luck next week, knock on wood, Should be locked in this year if he can qualify it one more time next week at Texas. That race, the Union Pacific 400 Texas World Speedway, I should mention. It's only been the second race there since the return for the first time since... I want to say the early 80s was the last time the Cup was there. I'm not sure. 
Well, there you're looking at 2018 Series Champion and 2019 Union Pacific 400 winner Richard Simmons. Simmons had a decent year last year, but is looking looking try to become a, a multi-time champion and solidify himself among the greats. Right and gone, just looking for another win. Donald Fagan had a very eventful 2018. He won, I think, like three times that year. Yes, he did. He won uh, Atlanta, Darlington, first race for each, and the second Michigan race. But some bad luck near the end of the season uh, cost him the championship. Richard Simmons won that, although it was a different driver entirely, that being Woody Woodpecker, who dominated the points for most of the year. Something similar happened in... Last year, Bob Ross domin utterly dominated the points for most of the year. Growing his lead over a race towards the end of the season. But just two weeks later, it eva that race buffer had evaporated to nothing. And the next week, Harrison Ford was the points leader. And Harrison Ford would wind up prevailing in a battle for the championship. This season, um, what was it? Chevy has been the best at getting the victory lane, winning, being two for three. It was an the Alfa Romeo, of course, Binky Kaminari winning last week. David Dayton running in last. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. There's Carl still running towards the back. Snoop Dogg running towards the back. How about other, any other roadway race winners? Lennon McCoy not in this field at all. We're nearing halfway. The other winner, Watkins Glen, 2018. That was Denzel Washington, I believe. He runs 27. Burt Reynolds won this race last year. He is 37. Kid Foster's not in this race. He won Sebring last year. Jeff Lynn won. Yes. yes. Jeff Lynn, uh, where is he? Yeah, he's towards the back. He won at the Glen last year. Yeah, he's 41st. Side-by-side -side battle for John Cena and Iggy Koopa. I think Ro not Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland or Amelia Earhart who won in Nelly last year at most sport. Who won the cup race? I know Peter Onjak won that crazy truck race. Was it Amy Schumer? No, she wasn't in cup. Caution out! Bob Ross is down pit road. Bob Ross blew a motor, and I believe that's what brought out the caution. Oh, bad luck. Yeah, he stopped. That should have... Yes. Oh, more problems. Hank Hill blew a motor.
They blew motors at nearly the same time. Caution is out. Interesting. That changes everything. Jeff Lynn trapped a lap down due to the timing of this. He was that far behind. Wow. Excuse me. That's crazy. Caution at road courses should only be around two laps, I think, total, but We see him. We see stuff going on. If the one's gonna stay, ooh. The field able to get everything sorted out. Alfred Hitchcock was the winner last year. Oh, there he is. Yeah. And he was right at the, the front of the pack. I think that's probably the same. Same car. And Alfred Hitchcock will win the race off pit road. Problems for the 19 and 62 on pit road. Are they just being held? I think they're being held. Or something. Oh, a bat. A good race for... Logan Cloud Motorsports turns downhill fast. Something, no, something's critically wrong with. You see it right there. They sit on pit road. Interesting. Gone is... Is he getting towed back to a stall? I... But there they are. They sit on pit road. And Alfred Hitchcock, your new race leader. Hot Strickland up to fourth. 
Here they are, they're overlap down. Time to, oh, big crash in the back. Cars going sideways. Oh, they're continuing the crash. Iggy Koopa involved. His car beat up. I think I saw Steven George. Yes, George and James Bond go spinning. Oh! Any other... Crashing going on as we go up. Jeff Lynn is going to get his lap back because of this. Casper the Friendly Ghost has now grabbed seventh place because of this. Kelly Savalas will sneak into the top ten. Wow. Everything going sideways. Feel bunching up behind the pacing machine. Oh, look at this. This looks like traffic jam on the interstate. There. Is he getting towed back the whole time? I think he was. So what was Fagan's problem? Was he just waiting on the 62? 62 and... Because I think the 62 looked like he had a problem. But gone is a whole lap ahead of the 62. I think something happened and... He was being towed back all this time. Piston problem dropping the 38 out of the race of Hank Hill. That team's at a rough season. And the 66 of Bob Ross out of the race. Stephen George retiring. So does James Bond. two laps down well we know the single file restarts on road courses anyway and besides even if it wasn't it's within 10 laps to go should be a nine lap dash to the checkered flag Yeah, he doesn't even have a time listed. Wow. 
26 miles an hour here. 25, 23, 22. Oh, is that contact? 21. Getting up to eighty seven. Up to ninety seven. Ninety eight. Here we go. Hitchcock trying to hang on one one more time. Richard Simmons in the hunt. He's gets he's gotten one win both seasons and they both have been in early part of the year in the West Coast. He won at Las Vegas 2018 when there wasn't a West Coast swing and won the last race in the West Coast swing last year at Texas World. Green flag is out. Nine to go. Oh, there's a couple Toyotas up here now. Things getting really interesting here in the back. Front, Simmons looking out, trying to make moves. They head down to the chute. A few cars catching that curbing there. I was one of the cars in the back. I would have considered pitting under that yellow. Just to try and get some fresh rubber. See, they start to spread out. That 62 machine just does not look the same way it did. Marco Polo up to 7th now. Looking to get around the Toyota of Bela Fleck. Oh, here's a battle for 10th. Harrison Ford, now Peter Perfect to the inside of Ford, will take 11th spot away. Oh, Fagan trying to get around Woody Woodpecker there. Some of these cars, you can see them catch the curbing. They go side by side. What a beautiful shot. All these guys. Snaking round through the asses. Seven laps to go for Alfred Hitchcock. His lead about a second over Richard Simmons. The lead continues to extend from the back of the pack. They seem to be pretty orderly now.
interesting move by Count Dracula there. As Brendan Gaughan tries to pass the guy. Richard Simmons trying to hold him close. Hot Strickland, I'm not sure if he's walking it wide or what. He cut the gap down to the leader, and so did Richard Simmons, but Kathy Bates fell behind. Now it's going to have to get around this 88 if he wants a shot at potentially challenging even the 3. Or the 43. <sighs> There's Donald Fagan. He's been chilling around mid-teens drivers. Carl's been able to pick up a few spots. Come down, there will be five to go. Here in today's NASCAR Melling's, not Melling, Werner's Cup Series event. Ooh, Simmons looked closer through the, through the first couple of corners despite his advantage having dropped at the line a bit. Alfred Hitchcock still the fastest car. Simmons just hoping Hitchcock is going to run wide. He's trying to pressure him. But Alfred Hitchcock has seemed pretty unflappable for, t for today. Of course, Gone also seemed the same way and we saw what happened. Simmons definitely looks like he's closer. There we go. Oh, Simmons was right on his back bumper, walked it wide. Going into the corner, kind of locked it up. Did he pressure himself? He gained a little time at the line, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Gone himself with damage. looking more crinkly. Probably from at whatever accident he had. I haven't seen this sort of shot a lot all day. We also haven't seen this. The leader really get pressured. Richard Simmons going to have another shot going into the keyhole. And once again, he did that little bobble to the outside. I don't know what he's thinking. Three to go. Any accident now would ensure the race ending under yellow. He did close him slightly. I think he's got... I think Simmons has just got to try to make a pass somewhere other than the keyhole. Is 
It's every time he's close, both times he's been close, he's done that little wobble thing. If he can avoid that, maybe he can try to put some pressure in next time by through the keyhole. Not the keyhole, the shoot. Or this turn, turn seven. And he looks a lot farther away this time by. Which could be a blessing in the skies. Should, should Simmons and, and Hitchcock have problems, say they make contact, there's Bates there, but Simmons looking way slow. That line through the keyhole was a lot better for Simmons, but his interval going to be a lot worse. Alfred Hitchcock just needs to hold on for two more circuits. And he's notched yet another career win. He won last year a few times. He first won. In the in the, the Southern five hundred. Oh, Alfred Hitchcock only had that one win. That well, one win last year. Very interesting. He's a lot closer. Richard Simmons is pinning. Oh my god, a lot of people are pinning right here with the white flag. Alfred Hitchcock won at most sport. That's right. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Oh, but this has changed everything. Bela Fleck to second. Telly Savalas third. Peter Perfect fourth. And teammate Grover Cleveland in fifth. Look at all the Dodgers up here. David Dayton, remember he had problems. Richard Simmons, Tom Jones. There's Marco Polo. Did he already pit? Casper the Ghost, Kathy Bates, Harrison Ford, Hut Strickland, Tom Hanks, Carl Edwards, Billy Mays, Al Capone, Walter White, Morgan Freeman, Burt Reynolds, and Iggy Koopa all had the pit. One last time, he will bypass pit road. Alfred Hitchcock is able to save enough fuel. He's gonna win the Bolt House Farm Farms 355 in dramatic fashion. Bela Fleck will hold everybody off for second. There's Tully Savelle's Peter Perfect, Rover Cleveland. Chick Corea is going to get a top 10. No. Oh. 22nd for Jeff Lynn after running last a lot of the race. No, 21st. There's 22nd, Richard Simmons. 28th is Hot Strickland. That's going to hurt him in points. Literally waiting on just Iggy Koopa to finish to make the result final. They are.
Bob Ross, 38 spot loss. Delford Hitchcock is your winner. Pretty sure I just went through your results there. Hopefully you saw them all or you at least figured it out. Now, we are still recording good. Trying to get this just right. Two, three, here you go. Putt Strickland lost the points lead. Woody Woodpecker is now your points leader. Alfred Hitchcock up 15 spots after that. What a craziness. Anyway, other things. Some did anybody really fall? Well, Common Hard didn't even start. Brian Wilson still in the top thirty. Still in the top thirty five. David Dayton will will put himself into the top 35. The Stephen George falls out. Telly Savalas also looks like he did. Francis Brown fell out. Donald Fagan might not be locked in. He needed that today. Neither that good run. That really hurt him. Brendan gone. Looked like he was going to have a huge points day. Buddy Woodpecker takes over the points lead. Carl Edwards somehow remains in the exact same spot in points. He's tied with Grover Cleveland. Oh, no. Carl has not had that great of a luck this year. <gasps> Ain't kill. Looking rough. The cutoff at the moment is that the difference between 272 and 280. George ain't even locked in as a scary thing. Neither is Ian Anderson. One twenty. Leave the entire everybody in the top fourteen. You know for a fact. We know for a fact will be locked in after Texas World. See some interesting things happening. Only 32 cars have made all the races. Donald Fagan in last of those cars. Needless stat crunching and looking and stuff.
friend and gone to pad the stat for last lap. Woody Woodpecker still had more laps than anybody. Hasn't led in quite some time. Anyway. Next race will be the Union Pacific 400 right here. Well, right here on this channel at Texas World next weekend. That's the only race this weekend. And then Triple Header weekend at Homestead. All three series. Yes, that's right. The trucks are coming back. Right here. Hope to see you then. For everybody in the cat, not the Western Cave Sports Network, I've been announcer Western Cave. Till next time, farewell.